Okay. My name is Evstathius Osifidis. I'm not uh, a professional speaker, although I dress like one. Uh, my actual uh, profession is uh, vet, uh, veterinarian. I will talk to you about uh, nonverbal communication. Uh, to infinity and beyond. Now we have a community, it's a group of people with the same interests, right? Uh, we have a product, we have a web page, uh, wiki documentation, we have a mailing list, IRC channel, forum, social media. Don't forget Connect. Connect is on the other uh, room, uh, Michal uh, President Kid. Okay. Now, next level, it's events. Uh, we saw Isabel with the traveling support program, we saw uh, Costas with ambassadors, so now we have to act, right? Next level events. All, uh, always we have to plan the events for the next season, not looking back what we did. Okay, now, okay, I'm at the event. What do, do I do? Is that enough? No. Uh, even though if you have a, a very uh, fancy booth, you must use also nonverbal communication uh, to communicate with the visitors. Now, what we will see? Uh, we will see the power of uh, the first three to five minutes. We will see setup. We will see what we, what's that, and uh, body language. The three to five minutes. What do we see? Colors, sex, age, size, face expressions, hair, clothes, behavior. I'm wearing pink. Why do I do that? No. October is a breast cancer awareness for women. So that's why we support this program. Uh, okay, next. Where to stand at the booth? Uh, only one uh, person stand behind the booth and everyone else uh, in, in front. So we see here a strate strategic position here. Here, strategic, strategic position for sales. If you want to sell, some, uh, sell something to someone, you have to have this uh, position. This one is the best position to associate with uh, the other guy, the visitor. Uh, those two are not acceptable. Opponents and uh, there's a wall behind them, uh, in front of them. <coughs> Next. Now, to talk or not to talk? Costas talks a lot. You saw that. Visitors usually look around. They are shy. Okay. Help them feel welcomed. Be polite. Smile and say good morning. Smile. Ask a question to find out what his or her, her interests. And then shut up and listen. Listen uh, what he, want, he or she wants to, uh, to be here. Uh, that's why we have one mouth and two ears. Right, we listen. Now, four <laughs> dominant types of personality. How do you use this? We'll see what, uh, what's the, the types uh, later. Does this uh, help you at the, on the booth? According to Florence Litauer, it's a book that uh, she wrote, uh, Personality Plus, there are four types of uh, personalities. Choleric is the commander type. Cholerics are dominant. Choleric is uh, Costas. <laughs> uh, melancholy. Melancholy is the mental type. They write everything on lists and uh, then decide what to do. Uh, melancholy is me. Here you, there are, there's a web page that you can find all this uh, uh, information and the quiz to find what uh, personality, type of personality are you. The next one is sanguine. This is a social type. Okay, enjoy fun, social, and chatting, etc. Uh, sanguine is Isabel. Phlegmatic, <laughs> this is a, a flat type. They are all easy going, laid back, and uh, it's something like close to melancholy, but uh, more, not depressing, but more analyzing things. Each personality type has its own, uh, they're all uh, useful. Uh, each one of us has uh, three kind of personalities, per percentages of personalities. It's not only one, 
uh, you might have two, you might have three, not four. Now, the brain activity. Uh, you know that uh, the brain is organized the uh, left and the right, okay? If you are deciding with the left part, you write only, only. You write with the, your right hand. It's uh, the writing uh, language, scientific skills, mathematics. All programmers uh, think with uh, that uh, part of uh, the brain. Now, they are the, the right side of the brain. Uh, they write with the left hand, and they are uh, more uh, uh, types of uh, people that uh, dream a lot. Uh, they are actors. They are uh, uh, doing with uh, art uh, mainly. Uh, okay, next. Now, before we continue, I have a test here. I need a volunteer first. Okay. Do you have pen with you? No. Go. Someone else, please. Mirasta. Mirasta, que estilo? Pare que estilo? Don't start. Don't start. I will tell you. Don't start. I will tell you when. Do you show? Do you all have pen and the the test? Okay, you can start. Sit, 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 sit. Start, start. Finished. You keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Yeah. Anyone else? Finished. Keep it, keep it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who did the first two? Only the first two. I see some people there. They are trying to do their. Okay. Okay. Uh, the last one says do only the first two. 
Yes, if you do the first two, you read, okay. You go to the last one, and then you go back to the front. Okay, that, that test was to show you that uh, you have to ask the right questions, okay, and get feedback what the visitor wants to listen from you. <coughs> and not say anything that uh, comes to your mind. Now, uh, at the veterinary school, I was told that asking the right questions to the, the pet owner, it gave me the diagnosis. Okay, that's why I did uh, this test. So learn, to, uh, so learn to ask the right questions and evaluate the answers. Uh, and then use the edification technique. What's that? The edification technique. Since we are a team, we have to act like one. Uh, I must introduce the visitor to someone from our team. And how to do that? I see a few advantages of uh, the person of my team. Uh, he studies, work, character, and before, before the introduction. Why do I do that? Okay, during the introduction, I say, Mr. Do, I have to introduce you to John. He's asking me about something I, that I don't know. Uh, as I told you, I'm a veterinary, veterinarian. Uh, I don't know anything about computers, about Linux, nothing. Uh, so I have to introduce the visitor to someone that knows. I think, so uh, here I say, I think you can tell us something about more. What did I, I do? I put my, the person of my team on the Mount Everest. Visitor listens even if he doesn't know what he's talking about. After a, mu a few minutes, I can go. And then uh, I, I let them uh, speak uh, themselves. And then if I meet <laughs> the visitor again, I ask him if he has all the information he wanted. Now, tutorial for the edified. Uh, I, uh, he can say his first name and push the visitor to use it. Uh, according to the information, he asks questions, ask, uh, close, closed and positive questions. I have two examples here. The closed questions is meeting on Monday or Tuesday. I give you uh, the, uh, to, to, to you to, uh, the, you will choose, yes, you will choose uh, when to meet. Uh, meet on Monday or Tuesday, we will, we will meet for, for sure, okay. And the positive question is what uh, did you like the best in Dome 3? I don't, uh, don't use the, the, the question, what did you like uh, on, in Gnome 3, okay? Because uh, he might say, I didn't like that, and uh, uh, we won't have uh, any result. Now, remember the names. If someone comes to introduce you and uh, he tells you the name, try to remember the names. Uh, sometimes I fail on that. It's the best uh, word that someone can listen, his or her, her name. Never accuse other distros. That's the main uh, uh, part that we do wrong. Describe the features of your distro. Visitors ask questions without any specific reason. Uh, the technique is to let them ask the questions, finish, and then ask them, okay, something else? Good questions, I had the same concerns, and look what I find out. Always use other people's opinion, don't you, they don't believe in you. Okay, I say, for example, Skjarhorn uh, says that, uh, for example, Plasma Active is, uh, is the best. I don't, I don't, because I'm a grown guy, okay. Now, body language. Uh, Albert uh, Mehrabian and his crew found out that the message is formation transmitted 55% uh, by expressions, 38% verbal, color of your voice, 7% by words. So 93% is nonverbal communications. Communication. The 7% is only what you say. Here, handshake. This is the right. No, not the right one, taking the control. If you give uh, the hand like this, is you take control. If you give it like this, you give the control to the other person. 
Uh, dead fish, if you give your hand like this, it's uh, prohibited. Uh, the right one is this one. Don't use those kind of uh, handshakes. And also, don't uh, push the other, the other hand. OK. Now, handshake and touch. If you touch the other person, uh, at least two or three seconds, he will feel that uh, you hold him and uh, you are very friendly with him. Uh, <coughs> I have here some kinds of uh, touching. Uh, those kind of touching is, uh, is okay if you are friendly with uh, the other person. Uh, okay, I have it uh, later too. Here's the zones, intimate zone. Uh, I have it uh, here on centimeters and inches for, for the Americans. Um, this zone is only for the person that uh, they are very uh, close to us, uh, lovers, parents, spouse, children, close friends and relatives. Uh, in my country, this, also, this is also for uh, transportation because we don't have a good transportation. Uh, personal zone, if uh, it's uh, the distance uh, that stands from other two cocktail parties, office parties, and social fun functions. Uh, the social zone, uh, it's for uh, strangers that uh, come to your house, uh, a postman, a local shopkeeper, etc. And public zone, it's uh, when uh, uh, we have larger group of people that we don't know. <coughs> Here are the, the, some examples with the zones. Uh, this is okay, this is not okay. Also with the, the handshake, uh, negative, positive. Now with hands here, uh, this, uh, uh, the hands here, uh, so that, that uh, someone talks and uh, give our idea, his ideas to us. And uh, here we have someone that uh, sits and listens what we, we will tell him, uh, our ideas. Uh, okay, next. Open and close attitude. If you go like this, it's a positive attitude. And uh, as I told you before, that uh, if you touch him two or three seconds, uh, like come and check our booth, uh, he will feel welcomed. It's some, something like uh, hugging him. Uh, this is clo clo closed body uh, attitude. Uh, also, this is open body attitude. This is uh, okay, this is not, not okay. Now, mirroring. If you want uh, someone to do, accept your ideas, you have to do the same uh, thing that uh, he does. Uh, here we see, oh, no, oh, sorry, sorry. Here we see two people that uh, sitting with uh, their glasses, uh, beer, wine, whatever, uh, and they, they discuss uh, something. And here they, they try to close a, a deal. Okay, the carbon copy means uh, by which one person tells the other the agreement. Okay. Now controlling the person gaze. If you show something to someone uh, on the table, try to keep a pen or pencil or something like that. And uh, when you want, to, want, want him to look at your eyes, you just uh, put uh, the pen in front of you. Now, what do we show? So nonverbal communication represents more than 90% of uh, exchanges. Uh, talk less and listen more. And the smile has more impact uh, than long explanations. Uh, I think that's it. To wrap it up, I want to show you that uh, uh, this presentation was first uh, presented at the second Open Source Collaboration Summer Camp. Uh, we had uh, plenty of uh, projects there. Uh, Fedora was there, uh, Firefox was there, Gen2 was there, Gnome was there, uh, of course Open Source, Gen2, what else? Gen 2, okay. <laughs> uh, we had presentations, okay, introduction to Plasmate, and we also had some fun. Michal was there. 
Now, tomorrow we have uh, the presentation for uh, open source, the next uh, open source conference. Uh, I think it's the room Picard. I don't know where is that. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you see the time? Be there. Okay, any questions? Okay. Thank you very much.